What's up everyone? It's the weekend, so happy weekend everyone. But of course, we've got some Big Brother updates to get through. The head of household, Nicole, has made our two nominations and things are looking too smooth in the house. So we're going to dive right in. So welcome to your live feed update. Right before we get started guys, please hit the subscribe button if you are new around here and also click the like button as well as the bell icon to get notified every single time a new upload goes live on the channel. Nicole was getting very, very stressed and worried before she was having to make her nominations as she usually does when she has to make a decision in the Big Brother house, but she was running over her speech in the HOH room and she had like quite a lot of sort of incidents beforehand of bringing people up um, to sort of chat through them and you know Memphis was really, really worried at one point because Christmas had gone up to speak to Nicole and he was literally sat in the bathroom and did actually put it in the thumbnail. This is what he was saying in reference to um, that when they were talking before Nicole made the nominations, basically he was panicking thinking that Christmas maybe had some sort of side deal with Nicole. Paranoia just sets in more more and more and more now that allies are, are literally having to take one another out and uh, this was definitely no exception. The head of household, Nicole, has decided to nominate Christmas and Memphis for eviction this week. I think a lot of us saw it coming and I do believe that Memphis is the target this week. I think a lot of people going to this week were just like, we'll take care of business with Tyler this week and take Christmas out next week. But events transpired where people panicked about Memphis having his hand in a lot of the evictions and also um, I think a lot of people are worried about the fact that he's actually played quite a strong game so they really, really want him out. So I think Memphis is going to be the target. I saw someone on, I believe it was Twitter, which actually was through the craziest scenario out and I, I do think this would probably be the craziest scenario that could happen this week would be Enzo taking control of the week by winning the veto obviously taking one of the nominees down Cody goes up and then Cody gets evicted by a vote of two to zero Nicole and Cody would have to sit there and they have nothing they can't even help they've got nothing to do they can't change the outcome Enzo would have literally taken control of the game at that point and that would be one hell of a move if Enzo pulled that off do I think he's going to do it no but we can dream Straight off the bat, guys, I'm going to throw it to you. Who do you think is going to be evicted this week and who would you like to see evicted this week? Do you think the nominees will stay the same? Do you think uh, somebody can win the veto and shake things up and uh, a blind side could be in the works? Who knows? Just let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd like to hear what all your predictions are and uh, just drop any Big Brother comments that you have and have a good old conversation with a fellow Big Brother fan, guys, and I may just join in the conversation too. In the HOH room, Enzo was telling Cody that Christmas actually scares him less than Memphis does. He is more worried about Memphis sticking around. So again, it's the whole house now starting to feel like Memphis needs to be the person to go this week. And, uh, you know, Enzo said he finds Christmas quite annoying because apparently Christmas continues to offer him facials. And uh, Enzo keeps saying no to them. And yeah, he was sort of just joking around about that. And uh, yeah, but he really, really wants Memphis out this week rather than Christmas because he was saying Christmas often gets flustered in competitions and thus she cracks to the pressure and then someone else can swoop in and take the win and obviously take Enzo, Nicole and Cody to the final three but I think uh, Enzo does know deep down that he could be the person taken out of final three and Nicole and Cody are for sure are going to take each other to the final two I believe. Cody I feel like might stand a better chance against Enzo in the final two because on the outside I feel like we view Enzo as one of the best players whereas in the house I think Enzo is viewed as one of the weaker players which isn't the greatest but I feel like uh, like I talked about a few weeks back I know it's a feat for a, a winner to get to the final two again but I just don't think that this jury in particular would award um, somebody who's won the game another win I just don't think it's going to happen so I feel like Cody will end up taking Nicole to the final two Nicole and Enzo were talking about their head of household letters because obviously when you win head of household you get your little sort of hamper with all sorts of uh, good bits of food and drink and um, and obviously a letter from your loved ones and she obviously got one from Victor but she was expressing to Enzo that she doesn't feel uh, Victor is proud of her because it sort of wasn't really in writing that Victor was saying I am proud of you Nicole it was sort of just she sort of felt like there was nothing saying you're doing great or you're doing brilliantly it's sort of just yeah Nicole I think was totally overthinking it. I'm sure Victor is very very proud of her and um, I, I think uh, I think she she realised that a bit afterwards, but uh, yeah, she did express those feelings at the time. Memphis seems to have done something to his foot. I don't know if it was uh, a few weeks ago, but it hasn't really brought up that been brought up that much, or even if it was in the HOH competition this week. But Christmas has been taking real good care of his foot. You know, she's been wrapping it in an ice pack. She's been wrapping it in a pillow. She's basically treating Memphis's foot like royalty and making sure that he can get back on track to any comps that he needs to this week. Nicole and Enzo were talking about Cody at one point saying that he seems very very stressed this week and even though Cody is still pushing to get Christmas out this week you know sort of saying if she does go as well she'll be mad I think Enzo basically wants to win the veto to show him yeah look I can do this and I can take control of the game although I don't think Enzo is going to make this power move that a few people have been talking about where he takes one of the nominees off the block Cody is put up by default and then sends Cody out the door that would probably be the most powerful move of the season um, I don't even think uh, moving into the, the following weeks after that I don't even think there could be 
a bigger move that could be made than that. So um, I think Enzo could actually seal the deal and win the whole damn game if he uh, if he does this big move this week uh, that I just said there with uh, with Evict and Cody because Nicole and Cody would be absolutely helpless in the situation and uh, Christmas and Memphis would then do the work of taking out Nicole on the other side who's the winner. All Enzo has to do is win a couple more comps then he's in the final two and then he can take the win. I think it's definitely more than doable and it would help him uh, solidify his uh, his title as the, as the Big Brother 22 All-Stars champion. Enzo was asking Nicole that if it does come down to a tie vote for some strange reason that who will she evict and obviously it's not that much of a strange reason because Cody is probably likely going to evict Christmas and Enzo is going to evict Memphis and Nicole said that she would vote to evict Memphis she feels that Tyler was the better player last week and uh, you know they said that they think Memphis is the better player this week and they said it sucks that Christmas keeps floating on by but they've got to do what they've got to do and get Memphis out whilst they can because I think they are all very very worried and as a viewer as well I genuinely do believe um, if you let Memphis get through this week I do think he could make it to the end so I do think they need to take Memphis out whilst they can strike while the iron's hot but then again though they can flip things on its head and take out just a biggest target as I just said there Enzo can make this power move by a victim Cody this week Cody and Memphis got talking at one point in the evening and they were talking about Christmas saying you know the way that she plays the game they feel she's very overconfident and she uh, and Cody sort of went into detail saying that she brags way too much when she's got no reason to so Cody obviously isn't very stoked with uh, with Christmas's game or Christmas even as a person a few people even expressed last week that they are getting very annoyed of even just being around Christmas these days and you know I think Memphis needs to be careful what he's saying because Christmas is like taking good care of him with this whole foot situation now, I know it's a game I know it's big brother but you know I think uh, you can you can draw a line sometimes and not say nasty things about folk behind their back when they are being very very nice to you because Christmas does genuinely have Memphis's back uh, but this is big brother guys so expect the unexpected and uh, you got to do what you got to do to get to the end but at the end of the day Memphis is playing our side he's doing it well but I think it could catch him up this week towards the very end of the evening house guests got settled down in bed and they were just talking about some previous seasons it tends to be a real theme especially in an all-star season of people talking about people they've played with in the past and just old seasons and the, their gameplay stars nothing too uh, detrimental to the game but just a little bit of sort of small talk towards the end of the evening as the, as the house guests settle down for bed but for sure there's an action-packed week ahead obviously it's going to come down to the wire depending on who wins the veto and uh, lots and lots of exciting game scenarios to throw around and enzo has the uh, has the game in the palm of his hand if he really really wants to make this big move by taking Cody out this week I don't think he's going to do it guys but this is big brother so expect the unexpected to sum everything up Nicole has nominated Memphis and Christmas for eviction with Memphis as the target things are up in the air though obviously because uh, you know who's Nicole out of her allies going to nominate should Memphis or Christmas come down off the block if one of them wins the veto is she going to nominate Cody who she's been very tight with or Enzo who she's been very tight with it will really draw all lines in the sand and she's going to have to show a lot of her cards should one of the two win the veto or can Enzo switch things up by winning the veto and pulling the biggest power move of the season by taking Cody out by him getting nominated by default We've got so much to uh, to look forward to this week and uh, so many scenarios to throw around. So I think it's a very exciting week ahead and I can't wait to see what happens. That is all of your game updates for today, folks. Thank you very, very much, everyone, for watching. I am very appreciative to those of you who continue to watch day in, day out. Thank you so, so, so much, guys. But I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And random uh, random fact alert, guys. I just thought I'd throw this out there. If anybody hasn't seen Who Be Halloween on Netflix yet with Adam Sandler, check it out. Everyone loves an Adam Sandler film, and this one's no exception. It's very, very great, so check it out, guys. Uh, that's just my weekend film recommendation. But, guys, have a fantastic weekend, and uh, hope everyone enjoys the rest of the episodes for the week. But uh, don't forget to like like, share, comment and subscribe. And until your next live feed update, I've been your host, Tom Vasey. Good night.